Great. I'm back. Oh, flipping. I can't get the tripod the right height. Right. Another review. Sick to death of um, my old sleep mat that I've got. It's a seat to summit thing. It's just not for me, like. So I bought a new one. X bed. Down mat light. 5M down mat. It's due in the winter as well, this, I suppose. Use it with that foil mat that I've got, and this should be alright for the winter. So, what you get in the package is that. That's the pack size. I've already had it out just to see if I could pack it away again. So, that's the pack size there. It's just a little bit thicker than a, um, the normal X bed mat. So, that should be alright, that should pack down Got in my bag near bar. Squashy as well. So what do you get in the pack? When you open the bag, first thing that pops out is this. The uh, the pump. It's for blowing it up, because you're not meant to put your breath in a down mat because it rots the down. The moisture in your breath will sort of Make it all mouldy and horrible. That's the mat, I'll come to that in a minute. Inside you get a little repair kit as well. I think you get that with all X bed mats. Just a few patches if you should need them. Hopefully you won't. Instructions on what to do. Glue patch to hole. That should that's your instructions. So that's the bag there. A little stuff sack if you lose the mat. Alright, so what you do is unroll the mat. I may go off camera, but there's no idea with that. It's quite long. I put the dimensions on. It's long enough for me anyway. It's widened for me as well. It's not a bad width, that. So what you do is you fit this onto the. It's one of them non return valves. X-bed non-return valves. Anybody's got the X-bed gear, they'll know about them. So you just pop that in there. And you push it in. Now if you do that, you're not going to get anywhere. So you've got to put your hand over the hole. Let it off. So, for the purposes of this bit, I'll speed this bit up. Because it takes a little while. finished just take this out and it doesn't the air doesn't come out because the non-return valve which is a good feature that anybody knows what it's like it's stressful so there's the mat as you can see you get on it Ah, I just got to sleep. I don't want to say that. So, that's it. It's my full length. It's about six foot long. And it's about five foot eleven. So that's about just over six foot long. That's about the width of it's all right. It's about what? Foot and a half, two foot. And the thickness of it, look at that, that's nice and thick, oh it's lovely and comfortable mine, that's a comfortable mat, I had a, I had a sin mat before and um, the chambers, these, one, these chambers here, and with this kneeling on it, over time just popped, so this expanded out like this, it got huge which wasn't very good, I was a bit disappointed. But they're saying that this new 
It's like a honeycombed. I don't know if you can pick that up. It's like honeycombed now. This. So they reckon it's stronger than the old sin mats. We will see. Down mat. Expert down mat. The real test is going to be out in the tent. Um, I'll be out this weekend, so I'll I'll report on how comfortable it was or how uncomfortable it was. What I don't want is for it to be moving about the tent because I, I broke up the other week. I was on the floor and the mat was up here. Not this one. The old mat was up here somewhere. This wouldn't stay up. So that's that. That's the pump in the bag with the repair kit. Online at the moment, Blacks. Blacks are doing them online, 88 pound. Bargain. Now to take it down. So what you do is, pop that out, see the non-return valve. And you, you've got to stick your finger in there, and just push it in. Which is, uh, it's a bit of a pain actually. This is the only thing that lets it down is this valve. The seat of summit ones they pop out and the thing goes down in a second like, but these take ages to, to let the air out. But it's the price you pay for the comfort like. So, let's speed this bit up as well. Because this will take a while. I'll fold it back up into the bag, but I'll speed it up so you're not bored. Basically, it goes in there. You put the bag in. Oh, just the stuff's in. Maybe should have folded it a bit narrower, but it's in. your bag and then you go home. I maybe, I maybe should have folded it a bit, make it folded it in on itself and then in again. So maybe it's folded a bit narrower so it's thinner so you're not, not pushing up the height of the bag. Just take a few goes to get used to it, that's all. I'm sweating now. Right, X-Bed. Down that light, 5M. I think the M's for medium. This is there. Uh, Size 183 by 52 by 5 centimeters and 72 by 20.5 by 2 inches. So 20.5 is just under 2 foot wide. I'll let you know how it goes. Tea time. Ugh.